Prince George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll slap on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The days grow shorter, nature clothes herself in the glory of changing seasons. The sounds of crunching leaves. And the smell of autumn in the air. Hmm. Huh? Huh? It can't be. Please, no! <gasps> no! My new line of fake faux fur pajamas is gonna be a hit! <laughs> They're here! <laughs> Save yourselves! Who's here? Banana Quad! <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny name. There is nothing funny about Banana Quads! Why? What are they? A fast-growing yellow fruit that appears once every three years! <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid of a... fruit? No! Afraid of what fruit does to ape! He goes crazy when he eats them! We have to hide! <laughs> <sighs> that should keep Abe out. Okay, this is ridiculous. You guys are seriously overreacting. Trust us, we're not. It started when George, Ape, and I were at the coconut game. <laughs> hey, check out my new smoothie. It's banana quad. Only comes around once every three years. Hmm, I'll take one. Give <laughs> me. <laughs> Banana Quads! <laughs> it was horrible. Hmm. Maybe we should get rid of all the Banana Quads before Ape finds them. Good idea! I'll go distract Ape! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, right there. Yeah. You seem happy. Do you have something to be happy about? I guess I just woke up in a good mood today. A good mood, you say? Uh, your eyes aren't bulging. Your nose isn't twitching. And I don't see any evidence of drooling. Okay, good mood it is. Thank you for confirming that. What are you doing? I'm um, getting some fresh air. The fresh air doesn't smell as good as this pastel bubblegum pony spray. <laughs> you can really smell the pony. <laughs> <coughs> can't breathe <coughs> outside. You can't go outside <laughs> without pancakes. <laughs> I wonder why Ape likes these so much. We can't return with any trace of banana quads. And we'll spell it. There. That should do it. Ugh. For the next three years. Um, George? <laughs> you shouldn't have. I think I need to walk off these pancakes. Don't go out there! Ah! I need your opinion on my faux fur pajamas for the fall season. Did you say fall season? Mm-hmm. Wait, that means if it's the year I think it is, it's banana quad season! <laughs> Banana quads! Banana quads! Banana 
grunts! Banana grunts! <laughs> you hear that? Quick! It's coming!
go over that hedge and explain that the Nanaquat season is over. And it's time for Abe to stop acting so crazy. There goes bravest guy, George. It's a mess. She's a girl, George. Ursula hasn't come back. You think I ate her up? Oh, George better go check. <laughs> no. <laughs> Banana Quats! Banana Quats! I told you, there are no more. <laughs> Banana Quats! Banana Quats! Banana Quats! Whoa, what's gotten into her? of the jungle. From the prickly porcupine to the latest in luxury helicopters. Huh? <laughs> uh, what is it, Ape? Maybe Magnolia's back to school clothes? Minty Fresh. So, who are those guys? Oh, those guys are Stan and Karina. Only the most famous, perfectest movie star couple since, since Hank and Brenda broke up. I hope they're not staying for dinner. There's our little Ursula. Ah, darling, how wonderful to see. Oh, hold on, let's in the autograph. Mm. Everybody, this is my cousin Karina and her husband Stan. <laughs> this is George Ape and Magnolia. Huh? Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> so tell me, what brings you to our quiet little jungle? Oh, we've been meaning to come, but now we finally have a good reason. Ah, oh, visiting family didn't count. Not so much. No, we came to adopt a helpless jungle creature and give them a nice, normal home. <gasps> what better place to find someone helpless than the jungle? <laughs> So to find this, this helpless jungle person, is there something, some sort of the form we could fill out, or...? <laughs> oh, Montana, oh, that is so funny. Uh, it's Magnolia, but call me Montana, or South Dakota, or Alberta. <laughs> yep, lived out here my whole life. I make my own clothes. Life is hard. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking for someone wild, you know, natural. <laughs> Clumsy works too. <laughs> what an incredible life story. You poor thing, raised by illiterate, brutish apes. Checkmate. I can't believe I fell for Kasparov's gambit again. George, what would you say about coming to live with us? You don't have to decide right away. You know, play cool, sure, you know. Do mm. you have more of this ice cream stuff in your house? We want to tell our fans we have adopted a boy from the jungle. And we don't care how he smells. No, I just know Stan and Karina are gonna pick George. So unfair. Yeah, but George would never want to live with them. They're so obnoxious. Perfect. 
it. But it's like I always say, if you can't join them, work for them. <gasps> All for George. Do you like your new roller shoes? What's the ringing? What's the ringing? The ringing? Someone stop the ringing! George at the jungle's office. One moment. George, meet your new assistant, Dakota. You see, in the real world, everybody has an assistant. She'll take care of everything you need, and I'm off to do something fabulous. Bye! Hey, bye! You look great! Hmm. Cool time! George, you can't go swimming for an hour after you eat. Karina says! Alberta! <sighs> Alberta, you are just too helpful! Splash <laughs> splash! Splash and splash! Suntan is boring. Can George's friends come over? Great idea. Alberta, here's $4,000. Buy George some friends and invite them over if you would. Thank you so much. George, I'm surprised you know how to use that so well. Yeah, I've already mastered turning it on and off. What's in here? Don't go in there! That's George's virtual hang gliding room! Oh, that's, that's George's private basketball court! <gasps> Remote control jetpack! Cool! Mine! <gasps> George never used to care about stuff. What gives? Stan! Karina! You want to go virtual hang gliding? Stan and Karina had to go film a movie. It's just you and me. But we were gonna do stuff! They sent this picture of themselves waving goodbye. Then George wants to play with the helicopter, now! No helicopters, no ice cream, and no video games! I'm in charge now, and I've got me a whole new set of rules! Hmm. My diagnosis is spoiled bratitis. <laughs> we were gonna do stuff. Oh, Stan. Oh, Karina. Why? Why? <laughs> I've never seen him like this. We'll get him to snap out of it. George, we're worried about you. You're addicted to all this stuff. No, I'm addicted to getting my way all the time. Yeah, that's true. He really is. I think it's time to go home. Oh, right. I'll just take remote control to remember standby. And, and mini fridge to remember Karina. Oh, what is that over there? Uh. <laughs> Remote control death pack.
actually kind of weird. Are you just saying you were a fool so George will say it too? Well, yeah. You were an even bigger fool than me. <laughs> George, you come back here! Well, aren't you going to admit it? <laughs> George, hang tight. We'll save you. George is finally ready to admit he acted a little goofy before. Before Stan and Karina left, they gave me this picture of them waving goodbye. I wonder what helpless creature they ended up taking with them. Okay, Snookums. If you want to come to the States with us, you just need a few shots. No. No! <laughs> George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend of you and me! The jungle holds many mysteries. How old is it? How deep is its heart? <coughs> what made that weird sound just now? And when an ape dies, how do his people say goodbye? That's Ape's Uncle Mitch, or at least a banana tribute to him. He was caught in a rhino flood, and as every ape knows, there's no escape from a rhino flood. I'm here at an ape ritual of sad feelings, never before seen by science. Nobel Prize, here I come. <laughs> Let the feast begin! Yeah! I'm here, I'm, I'm here. Did I miss the memorial? Ice creaming? Yes, yes, it appears I did. George won't try new Mitch flavor. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> Waffle! I'm, 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 I'm. So typical, bro. Late for Uncle Mitch's funeral? What's your excuse this time, huh? And don't say lifting, because I know you don't. Actually, Ted, George and I were testing out this. Oh, George and Cyan! Amazing, isn't it? I call it my Rhino Flood Emergency Steroid. Now we won't lose anyone else in the Rhino Floods. Ah! Real apes don't hide in big, dumb balls, bro. Ah! Big, dumb balls, bro. Big, dumb balls, bro. Real apes don't do watercolors, bro. Real apes don't ride scooters, bro. Real apes don't do historical reenactments, bro. <laughs> You're as ape in the grave. Scotty, and see my tears. Oh! How dare you! Come at me, bro! Stop, meatwalkers! <gasps> no legs! Super Superman! Oh. No legs born before legs invented. <sighs> oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback! Please, a silverback's the equivalent of an ape mullet. It's out of date, it's ugly, and it smells like farts. <laughs> what, am I right? Am I right? Come on! Oh my gosh, I'm not right! Ah! It was a terrible ape faux pas. If only Magnolia had taken a minute to watch the following audio-visual presentation. Many years ago, uh, before legs were invented, no legs was a true ape hero. For being an all-round simian superstar, the ape gods bestowed upon No Legs the world's first silverback. And since that day, a silverback embodies ape achievement in the simian trifecta of lifting, charging, and intimidation. 
Yes, a silverback is the icing on the hairy brown cupcake of all eight kinds. I've seen it now! I've seen it now! Fine. Oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Silverbacks are a fine and noble ape custom. By tradition, your uncle Silverback passes to the apest of his family. Although, for the record, I think you're all a bunch of lazy leg standers. Sorry, bro, but you're as ape as a grape. Lay it on me, bub. I am not as ape as a grape. <gasps> Someone just grew a pair of wheels. I am as ape as an ape. I challenge you for Uncle Mitch's Silverback. Bring it on, bro. That right, ape bring it to Ted. Ape bring it all to Ted, huh? Indeed. What have I done? What have you done? You made this old ape happy. <gasps> oh, snake pants. Ever since we were kids, Ted believed he was twice the ape I was. But I too can beat my chest in a gorilla-esque fashion. First, maybe ape not once say gorilla-esque anymore. Second, George have planned to help Ape win Silverback. Ah! Ah! Get back off me! Ursula help find Ape Dinner Ape. Ah! Ah, my eyes! She has my eyes! Bad, Ursula. Give Ape eyes back. First Silverback challenge is... Yes, lifting. That's right. Lift that! A termite? But it only weighs a minuscule amount. No! Go, 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 no! That was easy. Lift, 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 lift! I don't have... Challenge! <laughs> she means challenge too. Charging. Ursula can count? Ape! Roar! That! I don't see how charging at that will help. No, Ape! Roar! Go, 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 go! <laughs> My word, that felt quite primal. Watch out, Ted. You won't know what hit you. <laughs> Uh, how that help, Ape? It training. <laughs> Ursula Mink laugh laugh. <laughs> Perfectly preserved. No! You intimidate, intimidate, Go! I am so sorry. Here, let me get that. Hold on. Is this Radiolis Florensis? What a beautiful statement. Ah! <laughs> Ursula, give up! George, think ape ready to. Apes, we gather here today to determine which of Mitch's nephews is worthy of his silverback. Ape. Or, ah, who are we kidding? Ted's gonna win. George, believe in you, ape. Be best ape ape can be. Ape mentor George. Now George mentor ape. I can do this. I can do this. No I talk. Oh. Ted, ape, show me how you can lift. <laughs> Excelsior! Point to Ted. Challenge two. Impress me with your apiest. Charge! Right, here we go! Point to ten! Ape not have to do this. Ape always be ape in George's heart. Thank you, George. But this is my one chance to prove I'm as proper an ape as ten. I have an announcement. All your toes disgust me! Now, the last ape event, intimidation. <laughs> what do you got, bro? Uh-huh. Point 
for Ted, which means Ted wins the silver bag. Oh, yeah. Feel the glory. George, sorry, ape. But... Like I said, bro, an ape is a grape. <laughs> Back belongs on a real ape. I am a real ape. It belongs to me. <laughs> Rhino? That really wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible ape, but you're also an awesome ape, if you catch what I did there. No idea, but I can live with it. Ape and Ted okay. Holy banana, ape silverback! It look good on ape. Hey, ape not busy. Want mark trees with Ursula Friday night? Truly flattered, but no. I never really wanted this. I just wanted respect. Ted, you should be the silverback in the family. Sweet, and all is right in the Broniverse. Hey, I totally mark trees with Joe. You can watch me lift stuff after. Hmm, what do you say? Dad, ah! Ursula, give Ted eyes back. <laughs> The jungle, a peaceful, tranquil place. Hi, everybody, run. And so it begins. Of the jungle, comma, George, normally a happy-go-lucky jungle king beloved by all. But now, 16 months since his last bath, he's a teeming mass of filth and bacteria. His loincloth dissolved weeks ago, replaced by leopard print mold. His scalp contains approximately 10,000 new species alone. Let's not even go there. George. Ugh, need stronger brush. It's for your mm. own. Actually, no. It's for everyone else who's good. <laughs> Fine, George clean. Happy now. Taco, taco. Whoa, whose idea was it to polish him? Doesn't that feel better, George? George, do feel lighter. We did scrub a lot of, let's call it stuff, off you. Whoops, missed a spot. <laughs> ah, that not spot, that Olaf. Sure, <clears throat> you want to keep your dirt. I understand. But you'll get super gross and filthy all over again soon if you. Ah! Oh my gosh, it just blinked at me! It's not 
it, it Olaf. Say hello to people, Olaf. John Obita? If you're asking if I knew George had a botfly living in him, I thought it would teach him responsibility. Olaf and George meet long time ago. Whoa! Whoa! TMI! Stop the dissolve! Oh, please, Mama, do not make me look! Olaf, Mom, and Dad ask George to take care of babies. George loves babies. So King of Jungle promised to keep babies until babies fly away. George, so proud. You all have bright future ahead. Huh? Olaf no grow wings, so Olaf and George stick together instead. Best friends forever. Aww. Because you're sad, George. Sad that uh, Magnolia took away the bug living under your skin. Sheesh, sorry already. George don't want to be sad. I'm sorry, old sport. Feelings, even sad ones, are part of life. <laughs> So, George searched the jungle for animals that never felt sad, so he could, um, become those animals? Don't blame me, it's his plan. George? George! They're parasites! Give me a break! Hmm, his trail of tears stops here, in Slothborough. George? Who George? No George here. Me Sloth now. Name, Molasses G. George, I mean Molasses G. I can't believe I have to ask this, but why are you a sloth? Sloth super happy, never feels sad. See, always smiling. George, you know those sloths are upside down. <laughs> George, it's okay. You can feel sad for your dumb fly baby. No, George just needs to choose better animal that is never sad. Let's go. Sloths are so depressing. They're finally gone. Pate! Birds always happy. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I think Ka -ka! I think he's making fun of us. Why? 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 <laughs> Wait. You just like sloth. I don't see how these emotion sticks will make George any better. He's avoiding his feelings. Let's see him avoid 20,000 pulls of them! George, you're back! And not sad anymore? No. George, fine. Are you sure? He said he's fine. Back off, knuckle-draggers! In case you're both dumb, which from the looks of you, name's Hank, and I'm taking care of Georgie Boy's emotions from here on in. All animals get sad, so George give all feelings to Hank. From the horse's mouth. Hey, gee, you know what'd make your emotions real happy right now? Fixing them up a sandwich. Chop to it already, Jungle King. Lemurs, get the emotion sticks. Yeah, not your best sandwich, G, but it'll have to do. Until you make me a new one. Oh, hey, your emotions got mustard on their toes, and that makes them feel sad and stuff. You can fix that, can't you, Georgie boy? Give George back his feelings! Uh... You damn rotten lemur! Ah! You two think I'm going anywhere. You got... 
Wow, that eagle just ate Hank. Eagles are the only animals worse than lemurs. But hey, Hank's gone, George. That means you've got all your feelings back. Yay! <laughs> no, feelings in lemur. Now feelings gone forever. <laughs> Someone in danger. Must hurry. Baby monkey safe now. What? George have food caught in teeth? All you need is a good night's sleep, George. Everything will be brighter in the morning. Good times and bad times. Want emotions back now. That's excellent, George. Without your feelings, you're a terrible jungle king. No kidding. You didn't even notice this. What? George, understand. George, get feelings back. Finally. From jerk eagle. Oh. Hey, eagle. Give feelings back. <laughs> jerk eagle. If anyone can catch an eagle in its natural habitat, it's not George, apparently. Hey, eagle, give George back feelings so George can be mad at you. At least George can try... Again. Jerk eagle gone. Lemur gone. Olaf go gone. Feelings gone. <laughs> George sad. George never feel anything again. George sad. Olaf, how oh good. <laughs> George, George, your feelings are back. What? How he do that? Because you cried yourself a water slide of emotion down the volcano. Hooray! George happy again and sad and angry and shocked. And worried and ennui, but mostly happy! Now, can you please do something about this? What? I'm not doing anything! Glad you're back, Jungle King. Sleep tight. Olaf, you finally get wings! George, happy to see you one last time! <laughs> no! Jerk <laughs> George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in his crate, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't they ain't they, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla. Lounging around the jungle, eating bananas whenever you want. And don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. Stop! I'm awake! I'm up! George? George, time to get up. George don't want to get up. <laughs> oh, little me trapped in metal. <laughs> Ape, 
George can feed himself. Ah! Uh, frog? Oh, super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> frog magic! <sighs> Hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, uh hey, help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Hey, hey! George needs you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <clears throat> How will George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey! It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah! Little George scared too! Everything okay, George? George can't find way out! Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water! <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> what do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? <laughs> it looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. <laughs> It alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh, it go home to meet friends, plan revenge. And then the good jungle King George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, eh? It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, no, no. That'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate! Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial! polynomial. Ah! Whoa! Hold on! It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him. But he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, Are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs>
thunk that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc! Oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back! There was an imposter! But don't worry, I got him good! Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing! And my birthday? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees, you know. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey, there's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco-tank that shoots out trees? Ew! That's so goody-goody, I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm. If you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon... Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done! We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cutspit, get out of there this minute! George, come down and I'll explain everything. No! Not till Ape and Doctor make up the George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Forget it. No problem! It's only right. And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. A plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. <laughs> Not too close for George. No kidding. I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Cuspid, my life would be far too easy. <laughs> Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again?
one of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the Flooper Beast, is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur, worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course, <sighs> Floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away. While Tiger gives you hippies a laser guided haircut. Ah! 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 <laughs> this jungle's supposed to be my personal huntopia. Paid for by selling tiny floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that George of the Jungle is always in the way. The stubbly net launcher. The macho pit trap. The positively dripping with testosterone rope snare. Maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top-notch brain work, Weevil, and bottom rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we ow, could get George out of the ow, way first. Why, ow, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out. No, no reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Blast! Are you a prince? Weevil! Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog, one of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the Council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. in your mouth. <sighs> oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. Rare head medicine. <laughs> George, late for first patrol! Ooh, are you a prince? <laughs> George, another late morning? Ugh! What a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Yay! Ah! George, hold on! Ah! Tuckle, Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Fix George. Yes, please tell us there's a... There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro run. Modern art. Pizza dough. But George, you don't know what? Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster! Super Beast need George! Ugh. Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! <laughs> Wake up! No time for nap! George stuck! 
George, no good to anyone. Oh, maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George, bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George, have brain thought thing. Oh, wait, no, stop, look at me. George Collywell here because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh yeah, tastes like life. George have idea, but need sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. What? Someone's poaching my floofer beast! George can still be good king, with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the floofer beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. George, go save Floofer Beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> in a can. Now the flooper beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet. Hey, knock it off. This is a kid's show. Magnolia, uh, George no can turn away. Yes. <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? Ape, it's time to stop fooling around! And turn into my living dress? No, George have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me! I only wear natural fibers. Way more! No, bad hunter man wear George jacket from now on. Hey, <laughs> make king of jungle strong as me can be. Ah, me want them for that day. Sweaters! Don't sing! Right to me and me! Ah, me watch out for that tree! Yeah. Me, me, take a jungle song as big as me! Finally. <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream! Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ooh, now George Bellytop. Daring. 
Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... <clears throat> Man cry. <laughs> I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man. Tiger, uh, promise uh, to leave uh, Floofer Beast alone. Yes! I swear it! High five, eh? Uh, yes, um... George, you moved! You're getting better! You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh. I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf and a birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day.